This is the continuation after tuning up the GX160 engine. Here I'm going to install the different gaskets. This is for the intake system. I will insert this intake manifold gasket insulator. And another gasket. Then insert this new carburetor. This is the comparison of the old and new carburetor. Minor difference is that the shape of the float bowl and the trolley plate of the new ones is a little bit loose compared to the original carburetor. Install another gasket and reinstall the nut. This will be completed once installed into the chassis. This is the spark plug for the GX160 engine. It is an NGK BP6ES. I will put some oil in the treads before I install it. I just use an adjustable wrench on tightening the spark plug. Insert the new gasket for the exhaust or X tank manifold. I temporarily remove the governor arm to install the ignition coil. Place and install the ignition coil. The tension wire is locked into the intake gasket insulator. Reinsert the two bolts but don't tighten it yet because there will be some adjustments later. Insert the wire into the casing. Reinstall the flywheel cover with the two 10mm bolts. This is an engine heat shield and will be installed underneath. Another engine heat shield which will be placed at the top. These two heat shields are sandwiched together by this one 10mm bolt. Reinstall all of the remaining 10mm bolts. Reinsert this plastic harness clip. Secure the wire of the ignition coil. Reconnect all of the terminals and secure it into the plastic harness clip. Connect this to the ground point of the flywheel cover. Next to install is the flywheel. This has a small tab to consider. Here I need to adjust the ignition coil to fit the flywheel into the engine. Put some oil into the treads. Place the cooling fan into the flywheel. This will be replaced with the new recoil starter flange cup. This one has holes so that it could adapt to the aftermarket recoil starter. Reinsert the knob. 
Then I was thinking of a way to tighten this knot. So I move on to the other side first. Put some oil into the shaft. Also into the threads. Place the generator head and reinstall the four bolts. Going back to the flywheel, I thought of one way to tighten the knot. I removed the upper heat shield and spark plug. Then I make sure that the engine is in top dead center. In top dead center, the piston is in its peak position, and both valves are closed. Then I insert some twisted fabric as a filler inside. As soon as I fill the cylinder, this will stop the piston from moving, which locks the engine. Here is also a reason why it should be on top dead center. If some valves are open, this could bend due to the force given by the piston. Sadly, it didn't work, so I used a cotton rope. And luckily, it worked. I was able to tighten it to 75 newton meter, which is the required torque spec. Before I insert this 12 mm center bolt, I put some oil into the treads and tighten it to 24 newton meter of torque. Do this trick to tighten the center bolt. You can have someone to hold so that you can properly torque the center bolt. Next is the adjustment of the ignition coil. Here is the specification for the air gap of the ignition coil. Just insert the filler gauge in between the flywheel and ignition coil. Adjust it to minimize the gap. Hold it and tighten the bolt. Then try inserting it just like how you adjust the valve lash clearance. Tighten this bolt if you are finished. Rotate it to see if the gap is perfect. Then I torque the bolt to 12 newton meter. The Regal starter has only three mountings. Insert the flywheel cover and tighten the bolts. This is the Regal starter, and it will be locked by three bolts. Try to test it and see if it works. And yes, it does. Put back this little rubber grommet. Place the generator head cover. Insert and temporarily tighten those two 8mm bolts. Reinstall this adjuster screw. This is a throttle governor rod with a return spring. 
insert the end of the rod into the governor arm. Then connect the other end into the linkage of the throttle. Set the governor arm in place. Insert the end of the spring into the second slot. As well on the other side. This second spring will be inserted into the number one slot. And connect the other end into this linkage. This governor will be adjusted soon. And here we have successfully assembled a GX160 engine. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.